right, welcome back. We are doing an unboxing. Uh, this is a sponsored post by Fu Mui Art. So it's F U U M U U I art.com. And they asked me to do an unboxing of some travel watercolor paint brushes. So we're gonna be checking those out today and trying them out with some watercolor paints. Um, if you want to grab these, you can go to uh, F U U muiart.com and use the discount code uh, Kathleen to get 20% off your purchase. So we're gonna check it out. I will be putting all the links in the description of this video so you can check those out and then grab them for yourself. Um, and I'll even link to the um, actual specific product that I'm using. This is the watercolor uh, travel brushes. It's a three piece set and we're gonna get in and check it out. So let's grab them out of the package here. And we're gonna do a thing. So now these are travel paint brushes. So you'll be wondering why is it so small? Well, because they're for traveling. So this is a travel watercolor set, right? So it can go nice and small. It even has a travel paintbrush inside of it. So this one expands. You can even get smaller ones where you unfold them and put them together so that way they don't take up a lot of space when you're trying to do plein air art or out in the field. Um, or maybe you wanna go on a hike and you wanna do art. I've gone on boat trips um, and then make art on the beach. So uh, all kinds of things. So that's what the use for travel paintbrushes are. So we're gonna open them up so it's in a lovely leather case here absolutely gorgeous okay so first impressions of the case it's very smooth has this lovely stitching uh, along the side so we're gonna open it up so it has nice and easy to open you can see it's very smooth and nice very light in the hands because of course you wouldn't want it to be heavy when you're traveling so we're gonna open it up and we got three brand new paint brushes in this beautiful leather case Again, you can use the code Kathleen, K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N, and to get 20% off if you're interested in these. All right, so they look like this right now, and you might be wondering, well, Kathleen, I don't really see any paintbrushes here. And again, these are travel-style paintbrushes. I'm just gonna get out some markers because we're gonna add some detail to this painting in a second. Okay, so what we do is we open it up, we take them out, we can see it's nice and light in the hands. We're going to unscrew it, and there is the rest of the brush. And then that way you can take a huge paintbrush with you, but not have to, well, you can fit it in your pocket, right? This is smaller than my cell phone. Otherwise, it would be huge. How would I travel with this? So that's why it goes into there. Um, immediately, I can feel like it has a nice balance to it. Um, and the bristles are very nice and smooth, so they're like... They're kind of in a nice position here. So we'll try them out and see how they go once they get wet and kind of get all the manufacturing stuff off. Let's open up the other ones to see the different size. So that's a 12 inch number 12 brush. Okay, we're gonna unscrew the middle one, the medium. So you can have a nice beautiful point on that, ready to go. Screw them on. And I like that these are in a screw on case so they don't get destroyed when, <laughs> like for instance, if I were going to go hiking or camping and I wanted to take my watercolor paints because that is like the greatest medium to take uh, traveling, um, then that this would be a nice option because um, I don't have to worry about them getting crushed. Where I don't particularly want to take my uh, other ones because for instance, there's nothing protecting these bristles on a typical paintbrush, right? So I, I wouldn't want to take that traveling, hiking, camping, anything. I don't even want to take it in the car. It's going to get wrecked. And this is the small ones because it has a beautiful balance to it. Um, so we're going to try them out and see what it does uh, as a paintbrush, right? You know, it's a big difference between it um, being in my hands and it being used. So we're going to check it out. But the bristles feel nice and smooth and there's no hair coming off. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, do a test on all of them. Okay, no hairs are coming out or peeling out. This is the medium size. Feels like they have a bit of a coating to keep them in when they're brand new, but now I gotta fluff them up. All right, so they seem nice and soft, so I'm excited to see what they can do. I'm gonna flip over my paper here. So let's just do a lovely little axolotl today. All right, I'm gonna start off with axolotl's head. So I'm gonna do a nice little oval. Now I'm just going to be working on watercolor paper for this watercolor work. All right, for the heads, I'm going to just do some curving lines on either side with one peeking up 
at the top. And then one more just below. Okay. And I'm going to draw Axolotl's body with a nice little curving line to extend for the legs. And I'll do that and connect down at the bottom with a point. Got to move it up so you can see. There we go. Absolutely lovely. So excited to try these brushes again. F-U-U-M-U-U-I-Arch.com. You can check them out there. All right, we're gonna draw a letter U shape in, on either side of the body for the feet, both on the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna give it a nice little heart for its belly today. Okay, I'm gonna draw a nice letter, little letter W or lowercase little letter W for the mouth. And then I'm gonna draw a circle on either side. And then for the eyes and in each circle, we're gonna do one big circle and one small circle. And then you can color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles nice and white. Cute. We're going to add some cute little lines around each side of the eyes and then around the body. And then we'll add a little wavy line around the tail. So cute. Okay, and then finally in the around the background, we're going to draw some bubbles. So just going to draw some circles with curving triangles on around my background and then we're ready to paint all right let's put the markers away I'm gonna grab our paint brushes let's try out the big one first I'm gonna dip it in water we can see what it has it's actually holding the paint sorry the holding the water nicely I've just put it right in pull it out you don't got anything really dripping off so that's nice, it holds quite a bit of water. So I'm gonna grab some pink paint here by swirling in the pink. Let's see. And here we go, so we're gonna add a bit more water. We'll get it going. Now I can see that it's really holding the, me the medium actually really well. The balance feels really nice. And it's very smooth on the paper rack. I feel like I have a lot of control over the medium as I move it around and I'm intentionally leaving it a little bit lighter in the center here just for the around the belly. Watercolor paint, this brush, oh yeah. We got a nice little pairing here, guys. And again, if you're wanting to try these out, now they have a whole bunch of different brushes. They have typical watercolor paint brushes that are not a travel set, so if you're not interested in moving about, they have those as well. Um, they have the travel sets, they have acrylic brushes, so you can check them out. All kinds of different art making mediums if you're trying, if you're wanting to get started in this, it's an option to go again. You can get 20% off with the discount code Kathleen. And free shipping, I think. Free shipping and code can be used in all the products. Yeah, look at that. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, that's really nice of them. Wow, how kind. So you can check it out. Grab a grab a set for yourself. 20% plus free shipping using the code Kathleen. Again, you can find that. You don't have to memorize the website or anything. Just look in the description of this video. You'll find it there. Okay, let's paint in the 
face here. Oh, look at that. You can get a nice gradient with this thing. The bristles move so nicely once they get going here. Okay, let's try a different size. Let's do the medium. Okay. Oh, yeah. Add a darker value along the bottom here. And then maybe we'll add some little polka dots and play with our paints. Look at that nice precision we got going. Isn't that lovely? Okay, let's get a different color going. We'll do some. Well, let's switch to the small brush. Let's see all three brushes used. We got the small one. Shadow. I'm gonna do blue on one side and then switch. And then I'll do maybe I'll do purple on the other side. And yellow. Do a few colors here. Okay. I'll add some purple. Beautiful precision. flavor happening in our artwork. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and then let's switch back to the medium brush here. Oops. And we'll do the little belly. Let's give it a nice little red belly. some blue around the eyes. So I'm going to get my nice fine brush again, switch around so we can do fine details. And you can see the precision that I can create. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous. Add a bit of shading with blue on axolotl. And of course the blue's gonna blend with the pink below, so it's kind of turning a little bit more pink or like a violet, which is nice. We want that. We want our colors to blend and bleed together, and that's the magical thing about art. And also with watercolor paints. It's very unique to the medium. And once you're done, we're going to explore cleaning up our brushes. So once you're done with the brush, we're going to rinse them out. Okay. We're then going to pull the bristles nice and smooth. We're going to unscrew it. Right, it's gonna go back into its travel case so the bristles won't get wrecked. It's all in a nice state. It's gonna stay that way and I'll prove it. Boom, see? 
that's not anything. That's the lovely feature about this. So I don't have to worry about my bristles because they're gonna stay nice and safe. And then they simply are gonna go back into their case. This beautiful, again, very nice leather case it all comes with. Unscrew, pull them straight so they stay nice. Okay, slide in, screw it back on. Goes into the case. Okay, one more, we're gonna rinse it out. Okay, pull my bristles nice and smooth. We'll unscrew them, place them back into the case. Slide it back. Sleeve goes through. And look at that, this is three paintbrushes in here ready to travel versus what normally would be three point brushes like this. Um, and you can see that this is not, this is keeping them safe. It's super lightweight. The bristles are not gonna get wrecked in travel. Like you can see these ones are already coming out, the hairs on my, my old ones. But this is beautiful, it's kept nicely and it's ready to go. And look at how small it is. Like I can slide this into my pocket and literally, like literally, it's smaller, smaller than my phone, guys. It's smaller than my phone. It's about the same width as my phone. And I just love it. So there you have it. You can check it out, fumuiart.com, uh, F-U-U-M-U-U-I-Art.com. Link in the description below this video. That's this uh, axolotl, lovely little painting here. And again, you can grab the discount code. It will also be down there in the description of this video. You'll get free shipping and 20% uh, off using my code. So please check it out. Make sure you use the code and enjoy exploring all their different varieties of paintbrushes from watercolor paints to travel paintbrushes to acrylic paintbrushes and more. You can find it all there on their website. And I'll see you in the next video.